Hey gang, John Baccarella here with your Lake St. Clair Fishing Report brought to you by Sportsman Direct. It is October 9th, Wednesday, middle of the week, headed for another weekend. I know a lot of you guys are hunting right now. You're shooting ducks and geese and seen some nice deer. A lot of the archers are doing pretty good right now too. So and we've had some great, great weather for that. We've had some pretty calm mornings here this week, some cooler temperatures finally. Um, now that lake temperature, she's stuck at 60 degrees right now. And we're gonna need some cooler nights and we're actually gonna need Lake Huron to help us out here to really to really cool things off. We, you know, these winds back and forth, I was talking with, uh, with Joel up at Anderson's um, up there in Port Huron and you know, he's saying the same things that you know, the back and forth wind direction, it's really moving that warm water around on Lake Huron. And as that water moves around, you know, and it, we get cold water on the shoreline, we get cold water coming down the river and our lake cools off and then the wind switches and it blows that warm water back over to the American side and then it comes down the river and warms things up. And I guess it's given those, the walleye guys up there a fit because you got one day on and you know, one day gone. One day the fish are in one spot and then they're not there. The bite is on and then they're, they're gone. And I think it's doing the same thing for the guys trying to catch these emeralds for us too. So, um, but we do still have emeralds right now. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that we stay in, we stay in the good bait anyways for the rest of the year. But, um, so yeah, so that's the deal right now is we're stuck at 60 degrees, um, but 60 degrees is cool enough to bring a lot of these fish in. And we're starting to see perch showing up. The guys are finally catching fish down by the yacht club out in front of Nine Mile, out in those normal spots out there, guys, out in front of the yacht clubs. Uh, I guess over on the south shore, out in front of Pike Creek, um, they're getting some perch over there as well. And we're not hearing a whole lot up here on this, on this end, like nothing really that I'm hearing about from the 400 Club or Geno's or anything like that, but that doesn't mean that there aren't fish there, guys. So you got to get out there and, and try for those fish. Try to, you don't want to be the guy that's, you know, that's a day late and a dollar short. You want to be the one that gets on those fish and finds them first. So um, north end of the lake, a lot of panfish action going on, bluegills, pumpkin seeds, some crappies. Again, not hearing a lot about the perch, but the other panfish are going pretty good. And we're, we're hearing about some limit catches on, on those guys. Same thing down here through, um, you know, Metro Beach area all the way down into the mile roads, um, the marinas, the guys that can get into those places right now are doing really good on panfish. We're going to get into officially into dock season pretty soon, starting to see more boats come out as soon as more boats come out of the wells and you guys will get more access. You guys know the drill on that. So musky fishing, musky fishing has been going pretty good out there. We're still getting a lot of guys coming in that are, that are casting that are doing pretty good out in front of that, uh, you know, normally this time of the year right out in front of the spillway. So 12 foot of water, 10 foot, but don't be afraid to, turn, to pretend you guys are bass fishermen. As this water cools off, you can go in shallower and shallower and shallower, and you're gonna be amazed at how shallow these muskies go. Okay, same thing with the walleyes. The nighttime walleye bite seems to have slowed down a little bit here. It's been kind of sporadic again with the water temperature, and it's moving, these, moving this bait around out here, but the guys are catching walleyes in the evening and at night. Um, the jiggers are still catching fish over on that Canadian side over in the sturgeon hole over there out in front of the sand piles. Um, and I, like I had talked about before in the beginning of the fishing report, up there on the St. Clair River, it's been kind of on and off. When it's on, it's really good. When it's off, it's really bad. So we just need the weather to stabilize a little bit more and the temperatures to get down into the 50s and things will really get going. Now the smallmouth fishing. I mean, how many of you guys watched that, the Bassmasters? I mean, they had a lot of live coverage there two weeks ago. So if you were paying attention to the shoreline and everything where those guys were fishing, a lot of those guys were fishing here on the American side. Um, there was guys all the way along the mile roads down into that south end down there, up on the, the, uh, the south uh, east corner of the dumping grounds out there. There were some big bags taken there. And then up by the firecracker, again, some really nice bags of fish taken up there. Nothing has changed that way, guys. Those fish are in a fall pattern now. They're gonna, be, they're gonna be schooled up tight, so when you find them, there's gonna be some really good numbers of big fish when you get on them. But they're gonna move around, so you gotta kinda stay with them, okay? When they're schooled up tight like that, you gotta stay on them. So you can expect it to be a little bit like, you know, your late spring fishing when that water temperature is around 60 degrees. Down here along the Maros, those fish will be out off of that break out there, and just move around till you find them. Um, what else do we got going on out there? I mean, that's about it, you know? We, we've got to get some cooler nights, and this weekend it looks like we're probably going to have some crappy weather coming in for you guys to fish, but it's going to be the kind of weather that we need to really cool the lake off. We're going to have some much cooler temperatures, and then the forecast the following week is even cooler yet, if I believe what the weatherman is going to say, but this is the time of the year where we really start watching those, uh, those weather forecasts so we can start keeping an eye on 
you know, what's going on. And as we get closer to ice up, I mean, we got a long way to go. We got, what, 27, 28 degrees to drop here. But it's possible to happen pretty quick. So um, we do have the Eskimo shanties in. We're getting more and more ice tackle in here every week right now. Um, I think next week clam is coming in, so we'll try to get those sandies shut up for you guys as quick as we can. Um, more and more stuff coming in all the time, and we'll look forward to seeing you folks here. We're gonna try to do fishing reports probably every other week unless things change dramatically out there, but you can tr pretty much plan on getting one every other week from us from here on out till we get much closer to the ice season. So you guys have a good one. We got couple of great days ahead of us weather-wise until we hit the weekend and then it's all supposed to get kind of crummy again so keep an eye on it if you can get out get out there and enjoy it if you're not already hunting fill in the freezer with venison or goose take care hey if you like this video content and you want to get updated as soon as the next video is out there hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon and you'll get notified as soon as the next video is up